Hello? Hang on, why don't I hear anything? Oh, right. <sighs> I didn't think I'd be coming. I didn't think I'd be coming back to Metroid Shred. And yet, here I am. Coming back to Metroid Dread. Because apparently they went and added a Dread mode. Where it's very simple. Everything kills you in one hit, so. Yeah, that's fine. Nope. Okay, that I needed to hit new game. Hold on a minute. Seems I done goofed. Because of course I would. Uh. Skip. Return to menu. Yes, please. So I was supposed to do was New game. Yeah, yeah. Rookie mode. Just recovery from drops reduce damage from bosses. Standard. Hard. The, every any hit results in a game over. <laughs> ho ho. Okay. Look, I'm not here for story. So let's just skip through this as quickly as possible. I figured I might as well give a bit of, a, of well, my retrospective on uh, the Metroid games. I grew up playing the original. Had an NES and everything. That doesn't mean I was very good or enjoyed it too much. I think most of my enjoyment from the original NES game was by... was because of that one cheat code that meant your HP always stayed between 30 and 40. I just played it through with that and... Okay, then I had a bit of fun, but... Man, Look, don't play the original. Don't play the original NES one. Do yourself a favor, get zero mission. Then on that idea, uh, the next thing I probably want to bring up would be... next game I was actually familiar with was the Prime series. When my brother got his GameCube, he actually got two games with it. Kirby Air Ride and Metroid Prime. Now, my parents and my brother actually followed the SRB guidelines, so they wouldn't let me play Prime until later. But when I got to... but I was at least allowed to watch my brother play it, and... Oh, I so wanted to play it myself. I mean, thankfully I did eventually get to do that, and... Well, let me be blunt here, I, I'm waiting for Prime Trilogy on Switch. I think a lot of people are. Like, I would play the Prime Trilogy on Switch so... like... If, if they added the Switch, you better believe I'm playing it. Because I'm definitely going to play it. Because, and then Prime 2, then... My friend, my brother borrowed Prime 2 from a friend. Definitely was a lot harder. I think I once spent, woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning just to beat the Spider Ball Guardian during my run through the game. Then he got a Wii and Metroid Prime 3. A, the first Metroid game I ever got a 100% run on. Because it's that difficult. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not that difficult, but it was on hyper mode too, and A, button mashing, cuz. Alright. Yeah, can I take a few more hits? It's very one hit from anything, so it's the small. So let's be careful of the small enemies. Ugh. So you've accessed the net I've run a full net walk that I have this. Blah 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 blah, I don't care. So yeah. Uh, Prime 3 eventually get to 100%. As far as the 2D games are concerned, um, the one I'm most familiar with is actually Fusion. Having played through it multiple times. Oops. 
Having played through fusion multiple oh yikes. Ooh Well there goes my first death already. <laughs> Whoops. But yeah, I'm on my first uh I've played through fusion. I've done one percent runs, and heck, I think on this very channel I did a zero percent run. Oh. But yeah, no, that zero percent run was something else. See, I didn't realize what just what it took to skip that one missile tank. So I wonder how the instant damage responds to other stuff. Hang on a minute, I think there was a way I could skip through this. Right. Like that. Oh wait, why am I doing that? Oh, right, that's why. Don't care about that missile tank. Alright, Emmy. Yikes. I don't even, I don't even gotta try and fight this thing. Well, actually, I don't think you really can fight the Emmy, anyways. I'll just charge me on Mega Blaster and finish this part off now. But yeah, um. <sighs> um, yeah. As far as the other 2D, main 2D Metroid games go, I've gone through Samus Returns and Metroid 2. Uh, Metroid 2 was. Well, I had a map during the whole thing. Because I'm gonna be honest, that's pretty much the only way you should really be playing that. The original. Uh, Sam's Returns was better, if a little slow. Um, Super is the one everybody loves. And I can see why. Then again, I prefer Zero Mission's movement better, because it's, it's fast. It's just fast and dynamic, though I do admit the speed booster puzzles were rather evil. What were they thinking when they made the speed booster puzzles? Right. Fast. Ah, I don't want to trust swing right now. Can't get me in here. But yeah, um. Nope. I'll switch from the. Uh, but there's an invisible beastie in there. Ah, perfect. We've got our next uh, checkpoint. See, these checkpoints are going to be important. I will be saving a lot.
Alright, I forgot. I don't have the cloaking yet. So then we go. Oh, yeah. And on that note, I'm gonna try and kill each and every one of these. Because if touching one of these is instant death. Well, yeah. No. Don't want to mess with that. So yeah, um, I've I mean, I played through Super a few times, messed a bit with its glitches, but otherwise nothing significant. Now, as for Metroid Zero Mission, I've actually done a uh, ah, I've actually done a zero. Well, actually no, I've done low percent. You can't do a zero percent run in, in Zero Mission. I think about it. I've done low percent runs. Well, I've done low percent runs on normal. Because zero mission, you can be with about what? 11, 12% on hard? But that's just it, though. The game will kick your ass on hard. If you try and low percent hard, you are in for one hell of a challenge. Like, okay, I've already done 0% hard mode runs on this game. And I'm gonna be honest, it's not gonna be that much different from what I'm doing right now. Every You're already incredibly frail, anyways. I mean, you're already incredibly frail anyway, so if that's the case, well, you might as well go all the way. And then, ah, uh, here we go. But yeah, no, oh man, zero mission, z low percent zero mission runs on hard mode were really something else. Like, you were prob like, Okay, at the end game, you are taking entire E tanks with a damage. In other words, you die in one hit. The problem is that the enemies are also incredibly difficult to action. Oh god, I can't go out that way. Except I. Uh, no, I can't go in this way. It's the water bridge. This one was the water bridge, right? Yeah. With the uh, nuclear hazard. Okay, I got what I needed. Chase this! <laughs> Alright, that's just a one way door. Let me just go down here. Ah, we'll be getting our first power power up soon. Honestly, knowing that you can straight up die in one hit, it's making me want to take things just a little bit more cautiously in regards to There's our charge beam. Since this game starts us off with missiles. <laughs> nice and easy. <gasps> Me and my big mouth. Me and my big mouth. Honestly, the charge shots don't do that much to enemies in this game. I mean, it's not as bad as, um... Uh, what's it called? Samus Returns with the uh, melee counter, but... And I can't even jump up there. This doesn't kill them in one hit. Oh man, that's kind of cutting it close. 
Oh yeah, I definitely have to save after this one. I want this game. Alright, knock you out of the- Wait, we can't go that way. Alright, I think this is our first central unit then. Yeah. But I gotta get to him first. Wait. No, I missed something here. I need to get up here. I just remembered I needed to... Uh... Did I just take a long route around? Way around to... Hmm. Whatever. There was one specific door I needed to get access to. So I can get to that. Oh. Yeah, I better make sure to save whenever I can. Let me in. You know, I'm kind of curious as to how they'll how look. Oh yeah, they added rookie mode. Maybe, David, maybe that uh, that game designer can finally get through now. Seriously, how in the world do you mess that up? Subtlety, not even once. Oh. Uh. No, it was this way. It was this way. I just needed the cloaking to get it. <sighs> no. Perfect. I should make this part. All right, I got this out of the way. Oh, I can't skip this cutscene. Bummer. All right. But yeah. Um. Oh man. You know, I'm. St I still haven't managed to beat zero mission on hard. Uh, no, let me rephrase that. Low percent zero mission hard. I've, d I've done 100. I've done 100. Cause like... It's the robot Ridley fight. It's probably one of the most... On low percent runs, that fight is incredibly difficult. Cause... Okay, first things first. No long beam. Meaning that your shots are short ranged. That doesn't matter too much for actually injuring the boss that's only weak to missiles. Which... Depending on how your loadout is, means you'll either carry two missiles and the screw attack, four missiles, or two missiles and one super missile, due to the way hard mode works. Uh. That was too close. I need to go down here. Come on, just let me go. Perfect. I thought I was going to fall on one of those metal... Oh, man. Right, central unit. And now I actually have to worry about dodging this thing's attacks. At least you can shoot the ring, the rinkas. All right. <sighs> Let's take out the first demi. Come on. So I know he's gonna be coming from one angle. Wait. Man, what's the heat output on this thing? Cause like, you can kinda see just this thing generates a lot of heat. I wonder why they do that slow walk though once you break the protective casing off.
Alright, spider grapple. And now these places start getting more dangerous given the situation. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you know, I'm still finding this funny because, like. Oh, you already take barely any hits anyways? Let's make our next, next difficulty one hit death. You know, it's not like you already take, like, a metric load of damage. Let's just make it one hit death. Seriously, it's still like, I feel like they're just memeing on us by doing that. Oh, hold on. Oh, it takes two charge shots. Or one missile. Not going for that. I really don't want to get hit by something. Ooh, boss time. Just getting the timing on that is rather easy. Oh god, I'm actually dead curious. What would happen if I touched? Okay, I can break it. Wait. Not my smartest move. And that's another death. <laughs> Ooh, this is... Like, I'm curious how it deals with the drain attacks. Like, I don't want to figure out that those are one-hit death now. Because that would not be fun to deal with. She actually just caught that thing. Alright. How am I supposed to avoid that? How am I supposed to avoid that? Do I have to jump over him? <sighs> Unfortunately, I cannot charge up a science spark to... ...to immediately shut down this boss. Nope. Parts nice. Blam, 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 blam. Ah, too early.
Oh, you can't jump over it. Oh, he's coming back to... Jeez, you can barely tell he's... Come on. Ah. Alright, let's see if we can finish this thing off. And that's our Phantom Cloak. That probably won't kill us in one hit. I hope. And there's our Aeon. Well, that was nice and easy. Now then. Whoops. There we go. Can't get past the, uh... I definitely am going to want to save, though. Honestly, saving's important in this mode. Actually, I think about it, most of the bosses in Metroid Dread do a lot of damage. But at the same time, their moves are usually very predictable. Or at least, or at least incredibly telegraphed. Do to do. Now, I know there's about three bugs or so around here. Oh, there we go. Oh, I don't want to know how if that'll hurt me. Oh, I'm, I'm curious if those flame jets will kill me in one hit, or if they'll just drain my health. Don't want to test this until I get the various suit, mind you. Alright, we've got our cloaking. That should make the next Emmy section not too bad. a fairly good start. I might be able to finish this in two, three, three two-hour sessions. I'm not streaming on Saturday this time, though, because... Oh, right, these things. to go this... yeah. Man, I can't wait to get the screw attack. I like going through this so much more relaxing. Much more relaxing. No. Alright. Gotta go up a bit. No, I don't. I can't actually, uh... Oh. Wait a minute. I have to go back a moment. No? I think I've forgotten something. How to... Oh, right, this move, this door was already open. Now I have to worry about getting out. Jeez, I forgot about this. Uh, 
Excuse me. Are my ears just jammed, and I don't know why. Good. <gasps> oh, I can't crouch that. They might, they might as well put Samus in the Zero Suit. You're not actually... No, wait, the Zero Suit could actually take a few hits, though. At least as far as I remember in... Uh... <gasps> oh. Oh. oh, no. Oh no. That was ow. It's like come on, come on closer, come closer, come closer. Oh. I forgot how good the range on them more on the on those guys were. Let's shoot down any bugs before. Okay. But, oh man. Oh. No. I thought I was gonna land on something. Oh no. Remember those guys? They fire. We'll do that to get up there because I really don't want to die. Well, it's about that I feel more relaxed during the Emmy segments compared to the regular game. Because I seriously feel more relaxed in the Emmy segments compared to the regular game. Not here. Well, at least I know the Phantom Cloak still. So there is a use for the health packs, it's just increased Phantom Cloak time. Oh, 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 that actually hurt. That physically hurt to happen. How could that happen? How could that actually happen to me? Let's try this again. Okay. Wait, no, it's probably gonna come down this way. I wanna back off in case this thing. Uh. Okay.
Ooh, that was still so painful when that happened, though, because it's like... Did I just... Man, those little drone things are more dangerous than the Emmy now. I can't wait till they'll have to start dealing with the mines. Those are not going to be fun to deal with at all. So we'll just get a nice recharge here. Oh, actually, that's not a recharge. What am I doing? What am I saying? Eh. Alright. This is so... This is straining. I don't have to worry about just... Dying. Nope. And I can't skip this either, oh man. But, yeah, no, um... The robot really fight. The claw swipe is nearly unavoidable, and will kill you instantly. We routinely fire missiles, which will all, which will kill you if they hit. And he also gets eye lasers once you start doing enough damage to him. I mean, the nice thing is that it's not the 100% fight, so he doesn't take all that much punishment. But, oh, you are going to be feeling... Trust me, you're going to be feeling the results of fighting him. Oh, good. We'll just redirect the more lava. Also, I'm kind of just afraid I'm going to jump onto something that I really shouldn't have. Oh, thank goodness, a safe station. Oh, this is so str this is so strenuous. This is so strenuous. I haven't played this game in a while, if I'm going to be honest. Mostly because... Just wait. Nope, can't get up there yet. Did I ever take this path before? Well, whatever, I'm taking it now. It's gonna take me to Crade, but I obviously can't go that way yet. Ugh, I don't, I don't want to deal with those things. Not until I get the diffusion beam. Oh. I'm not looking forward to once the X, once the X parasites come out. That was too close. Thank goodness. Another safe point. Uploading data. Man. Am I even going the right way? Oh, we got to a map zone at least, so that's nice. Yeah, it reminds me, in Samus Returns, they actually used the Metroid Prime fanfare theme for items. Then again, that proved that game was successful enough that it showed that Dread, that it convinced the creation of Dread, and man, did this game deliver. At least this part's nice and easy. I don't want to risk that. Oh 
No. Just blast that out and no right. Can't skip it, but it'll empty that. Watch as the lava just drains away. <laughs> oh man. Alright, um... You know... Now I think about it... They never really... I never played Metroid Prime Hunters. I've heard... Does it, does it even have a... Does it even still have an online... Uh, mul no, a, a multiplayer scene these days? I'm genuinely not sure. Like, I'm actually... Uh-oh. You know, I have a higher chance of surviving... Well, higher chance of surviving an Emmy than a regular enemy, but, uh... Whoops. That chance is still not high, but at least... Oh, that was a nice one. And now I've juked the Emmy. What do I need to... I need to get back to... Oh good, he already knows where I am. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna... No. Not even gonna try. <sighs> Come on. How did I live that? I should not have lived that. Right. I have to go to Dyron in order to... That was time dwell. No way, I need to go this way. And I can at least open this. Good. Right, now without the morph ball. Dire on. Jeez, it's only been 45 minutes? Didn't it take me two hours to get here on my first run? Or like, something like that? Sorry, I've got my left ear jammed up. I'm trying to use some ceramol in order to empty it, but I'm just not sure why it's... Why it's working all that well? Honestly, I should try and schedule a doctor's appointment for it. Cause seriously, that's just not fun to deal with. No, really, how do I deal with that? Ugh. And well, anyways... Oh, no. I'm not looking forward to this part. Hurt. No. Bad lasers. You know, I don't actually think I can... I could have just... SMRT
I'm kind of scared he could actually shot me from there. Whatever, let's... Do... Let's save again. Oh, like the saw blade launchers. No, I don't want to touch those. Yikes. Alright, we got the depowered section, which should be too bad to go through. You know what I'm hearing? Oh. Thought I was with that was close. Let's give this place a much needed power. Man, it's very convenient that Samus' arm cannon can interface with so much tech. Wait, what's it? Oh, right. Wide beam. Or the spacer beam if you're playing super. This wasn't in Zero Mission. Then again, it didn't need to be. The wave beam kind of handled it. The wave beam kind of handled its functions. Uh, at least the mechanical things can be hurt by missiles. Uh. For next time. Uh. Right, but they do use a chance to show off the speed booster at me. Of course, now I better just start moving. I thought I was going to have to worry about getting chased by this fly by this one I guess not at least we can get Emmy number two now you know the ice missiles actually grant a damage boost in this game I didn't actually know that Oh, I don't think I would have survived that. Honestly, I was worried about Dyron. I see I actually survived somehow. Somehow. <laughs> Honestly, this really isn't that much different from the hard run. It's gonna get even less different. And now this guy's just... Ow. That's just not fun to deal with. Um. That? Oh, I forgot how durable those guys were. There was. Yeah. We're almost there, right? Mm -hmm. 
course the Emmy would take that path. Get off. Wait, you heard me? Oh well. I'm basically at uh, control unit. What the? That quickly? Alright. Man, apparently the apparently if you use the hyper beam against uh here's the best place for me to tank to camp out. Let's see which way this guy comes in from. Okay, you're not gonna do that, are you? Come on, this is gonna be cutting it kinda close if I'm gonna be honest. But I still have the space. Now I'm gonna be honest, the I'm not sure how to feel about blue and white on the suit. Like it does look kinda techno, it's just I don't know, I think it would still have been better with blue and yellow. Kinda like what they did with the fusion suit. The gravity suit in this game really needed blue highlights, not green ones. I don't know why they're never consistent about the fusion, the gravity suit highlights. If you're crying out, even fusion. I mean, all things given, even fusion at least kept the highlights too. Ah, right, it's various suit time. Let's get down to Craid's area. Uh, excuse me. Actually, we don't. We, I don't think that'll speed things up. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that's just embarrassing. That's just embarrassing. Tunk, tunk. But if I go down this way, that should give me... That should give me, uh... Alright, I need to get down to Kraid Slayer. Because there's something here I actually do want. See, this place is normally too hot for me, but if I go this way... I got a tube and... Uh, right, red teleportal. I want this. You know, it's kind of funny. Once you realize that with the teleportals and stuff, you can go through things much quicker. Instead of having to make the slog. I think about it. this isn't the first time you get the wave, the plasma beam before the wave beam. That was true in fusion as no, yeah, fusion as well. The wave beam was like what the second last power up you got. Honestly, until you get the until you get the diffusion beam, those things are a threat. I save here because I have no idea how, how the various suit run is going to work. Also, where's our Metroid escape? But honestly, though, this game is amazing. I 
Right, I think we're getting close to the various suits section. Just make things a little bit quicker. That bugs me because it looks like. Oh. I very nearly ran into that. Various suit time. I better start moving. Okay, so I haven't even reached an hour mark, and I've already got the various suit. That's actually pretty good. Honestly, the melee counter power up each charge isn't the most useful thing right now. Now, I should just be able to run back to, uh. Yeah. <gasps> oh. I thought I. I mean, it's nice to have my classic colors back, but... And uh, I don't even want to try and take a swim in the lava. That'll probably just kill me. You know, the f so I want to get my brother to play this. I think he'd love it so much. Because he's a Met pretty big Metroid fan himself. That was too close. And we're back to the teleportal, which I won't be able to open until my next boss. If I decide to do that, take that route. Yes, teleportal, please. Now, theoretically, at this point, I I could try to do the uh, morph ball bomb before Kraid. I'm not going to try that, though, because if I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure if I'll survive doing that, and I don't want to risk that, so no. I'm not even going to try that. I mean, I'm not even sure if it's even possible. I mean, I know it's... I think it might be possible in 0% hard, but that's not what I'm worried about. And now I'll use the, the save... the bleh save, save room here. Ah, good. Hopefully okay, you can kind of shoot that part out. Where... Oh yeah, those stone golem things can shoot can shoot through walls. So that is something you need to keep in mind. I don't even want to try to slide under them. <gasps> oh! Okay, you can still jump into lava without dying instantly. That was kind of close, if I'm going to be honest. 
I think. Oh yeah, that's Crate, all right. They probably brought him back because it'd be too, too cliche to bring Ridley back, especially given that they brought him back for Samus Returns. So, Crate time. Oh, that one just swung in from underneath. Oh, and I ran. jumped right into the donut. Whoops. <laughs> That's just embarrassing. I just cornered myself with that one. <laughs> right, I'm used to fighting Ravenbeak with with him killing me in one hit, but the other bosses don't usually kill in one, they usually kill in two. Yikes. Yikes. Oh, I think they didn't break in one hit. Alright, let's try this again. I thought I could jump over it. Focus. Just relax. Give me back all my missile ammo.
Ooh, I thought I timed that. How many times... Yeah, it'll be funny to see how many times I've died at the end of this. Missiles. Mouth. Why don't they just stand back here? He didn't even get two, two uh, sequences, just the one. I feel like I just dis disrespect, well, as disrespected as I could pull off given the situation. There we go, diffusion beam. I'm not gonna hit those, those ground jumper things. Does it actually give up direct damage boost now that I think about it? Hey, what do you know? They brought the one good thing from Other M in. Oh, yeah, I mean, I knew this. I already knew it hit them, but. And I think we want to use this purple teleportal now. Alright, back into Dyron. go that way yet. Right, maybe what I got here. Actually, you know what? Let's try it. Sure, wait, I don't think I can given the situation, but I'm gonna need that grapple beam anyways. So I might as well go and grab it. Alright. We are on a roll. Aside from all the deaths, but... Dread mode. What are you gonna do? It's up there. Be careful of those mines, though. Q. 
Okay. That Emmy will never know we're here. Well, I mean, it already does. Wait. This is that dead end. I didn't need to go this way. That's, oh, yeah. The other uncharged area. Except I can't actually do anything about this. At least not yet. Get up here? No. Ooh. I think those missiles still come in handy. Because honestly... Okay, where else we can I... Up here? Nope, can't go that way. No, it's just real. There's more mechanic stuff here in Dairon than there is in. Oh, that thing's gonna get activated. Tip. anything about that one though. I think it was up here, right? And abuse the uh, diffusion beam capabilities. Just at least abuse it to the to a degree. Can only do so much with it after all. the way I need to go? Yes, it was. Perfect. Hmm. Honestly, this... Honestly, it's, it's the overworld traveling I'm worried about more than the bosses. The bosses will take you out in only a few hits anyways. But the... Did I just suffer from... I'm suffering from slowdown? I've got the bombs. Perfect. Okay. It's over here. That will drop me back up to the beginning. Not gonna even try and deal with you, man. She wait, no, that is the way I needed to go. Oh, the saw blades and the lasers are back online. Not even got you. What's in here? Oh, goody, a save room. Also, my favorite suit design is probably the primes. Like, I'm trying to think, Prime 1 or Prime 2, though? Like, oh my god, they, all three Prime games have it look good, but... Oh, I like the headpiece better in... I think the headpiece just looks better in Prime 2s. Alright. So I had it. I went to a pizza place earlier today. They had a cinnamon. They had cinnamon buns, which were also delicious. Like, if any of you live in Toronto or in the GTA, there's this place called Mark's Pizza. They make pizza to order on 
the week on usually Thursday through Saturday. It's incredibly delicious. I would highly recommend it if you ever manage to, for anybody that lives in the GTA. And especially because you can usually also get salads, which taste amazing. And they usually also have a bunch of cookies on, snacks on hand, usually cookies. But I went with a cinnamon roll instead. It was because, well, uh, the cookies were rather, had rather dirty things on them. Which, given that me and my mom tend to enjoy the cookies, well, the term, this, well, let's just say, not fitting. And I didn't want to have to deal with that. That level kind of awkwardness. Actually, nobody should. And now comes the... Oh god, I'm in the sea section. I can't believe they make you do this, though. They make you make you go through underwater parts multiple times without the idea. Oh yeah, we'll be dealing with that soon enough. Oh good. Next save point. Okay, no, the pizzas are something else. Uh, other places I can suggest. Uh, for, if you like hamburgers, this holy chucks. Haven't been there in a while, but that's because they're in downtown, and I'm in, and I'm not in downtown Toronto. Oh, ooh. Whoops. I'm not going to be able to do anything about that until... No. I can actually go up that way yet, so... That's what's too close. Come on. That's just an easy way to get a power up, which I don't really need right now. Oh wow, that guy just spawned right back quickly. Cannot wait till I have. Too close. That was legitimately too close. At least they're being generous with the safe stations. At least I hope they're being generous with the safe stations. Uh, nope, can't go that way yet. And I don't have enough firepower to get through them, so... <sighs> Yikes. Well, honestly, honestly, after playing all this Pokemon Legends, which don't run, it's a lot of fun. It's nice to get my teeth back into something different. Actually, I actually only really did this because of... Oh, hey, Dread Mode. Awesome, kind of happy I did. It's kind of breaking up the monotony. Which... Like, honestly, I'm not quite sure how to do a streaming balance. I mean, I want to do multiplayer games, but I don't really have anybody to collab with. Or at least anybody else to get in touch with. Oh. And even then... Uh, even so, so the force up here. Yeah, even so. Oh right. Oh, that's actually. 
like that. Wow. Um. But yeah, no. Honestly, I want to. I just want to play. Try play something with another person. Like even if it's just like Doom co-op or, for instance. Right. <gasps> Whoops. Man. Right, uh, what I'm looking for is higher up. Hold on, let me look at this for a second. Right, up there. Okay, first and first, I should be popping myself into the, into the uh, save station again. Can never save enough. This is, nice. this isn't a snake eater. Shoot, I really should be doing another foxhound run on that. You know what? When I'm done with whoa, Metroid Shred, I'll do Snake Eater next. And by Snake Eater, I mean a Foxhound run of Snake Eater. And just in case you can't actually really use the uh, Flash Shift underwater until you get the gravity suit to until you get the gravity suit to well, nobody's surprised. It's the gravity suit after all. And there was that mod uh, one of my friends had me try. Smash Universe. I wasn't quite sure what to think about it. But frankly, it's kind of shocking. Over a hundred characters. That doesn't mean they all play well. It didn't... It's not actually all that bad. I mean, it was, it was... It was a fun mod. I'll probably be seeing him tomorrow. Probably have to record whatever he decides to play this time. <gasps> oh. No. God, I, I thought Sonic had difficulties maneuvering underwater. I think Samus thought the gravity suit takes the cake. Huh. I could have just... Mm, whatever. I've got the diffusion beam now. Right, I can literally just blast it from down there. This is the way I needed to go, actually. Right, right. Honestly, I'm kind of curious to see What'll come out next for Metroid? I know everyone's looking forward to Prime 4. I've, I'm, I don't know what I want, but I suspect they'll do is that they'll tease Prime 4 a little bit more, and then they'll give us the Prime Trilogy. Honestly, I want Prime Trilogy, and I want a Battle Network collection with online multiplayer. That would be so good for the Switch if they did that. Or, heck, just port it to all the consoles, not just Switch. Is that why it's taking so long? And they put Mega Man X on everything via the, act the Legacy Collections. Wait, no, not that way. Um. Not quite like that either. I 
to the enemy zone. Oh god. Ooh, boy. Bonk. I just died. Oh, now it just straight up doesn't know I'm here. Or it could just come in from over there. And I am not hitting that drone. Now I can actually maneuver this area. There we go. Get the one to punch. Honestly, I need to get convince my younger cousins to try playing this again. I'm gonna kinda kick this ass. Oops. Ah, I really can't time this anymore. It's still arguably safer than the regular enemies. Oh no, that's not not that's not nearly enough space. Oh, not again. Yes. Does that give me the opening I need? Nope. Nope. <sighs> I think I forgot where to go for this one. Down here, right. Oh, right. Uh huh. Come on. That was too close. Yeah, it has been sometimes since I played this. I forgot where the ideal camping spot for this guy was. Whatever, I got him. Another ability. Hmm. That's actually just straight up locked, isn't it? Can't go up that way. 
Wait a minute. Nope. Oh, right. Uh. Whatever. It got me to where I needed to be. And I don't really care about that missile pack anyways. We'll just... Off we go. I need to go to the one over there, though. that way but oh no I needed a grapple weapon oh, oh no seriously that's just embarrassing that is just embarrassing Right, I could keep going and get that, but I'm not. This is a zero percent run. Oh, no way I had it activated it with that. Uh, this is going to be surprisingly difficult, even though it really shouldn't be. Oh, ha ha, very funny. Oh man, I actually had that boost. Guess I couldn't maintain it forever. I'm not gonna lose. That was too close, I think. Okay, so I can't get on there because it needs the grapple beam. Yellow teleportal. Alright, that's where I need to go. It'll also get me to that safe station. That beautiful safe station. But now I also need to Dodge that. Mm. 
This is gonna take a few shots. System. Load well, last checkpoint. You're going to see me do this a few times, because I'm not picking anything up. I know there are some actual upgrades that are avoidable, but I really don't know how to do it, and quite frankly, they don't actually count. There we go. There we go, that should get me to the yellow tail portal, which should get me quickly to the grapple beam. Shoot it from over here. This is not surviving a hit from me any. Whoa. Wait a minute, I probably could have used that as a. Yeah, I thought so. Why didn't I do that to begin with? Whatever, I know about it now. Makes my stuff much easier. This next up is the grapple beam. the doors open. And the funny thing is the grapple beam does do damage in this game. Whoops. That should give us a nice quick back to Dyron. I could have grabbed this first in all honesty, but I didn't. But would it have been quicker? This is important. This isn't a speed run. This is just a challenge run. Another one down. Alright. But the quick way is via this too. So it puts me right back up there. Pull that. And this is Ferenia, if I'm remembering properly. Yep. You got the initial one, then you got da 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 da. -da. Oh right. <sighs> I think we're going through a good clip. But <laughs> I wonder if all my times doing the Metroid Fusion Zero Percent was prepping me for this. Nah, I've heard it's possible. I've heard about doing Samus Return Zero Percents, but thus have the ooh.
Whoops. Alright, it's time for everyone's most favorite boss fight. Because of this attack right here. <gasps> oh, I timed that too early. I was doing so good too. I hate this boss fight. I hate the Chozo robot. It's like the warriors with the spears are easy, but these guys. Like. Uh. And we got him. Not fun. <laughs> ah, unfortunately, it's not really doing anything. No. That'll send me back down. Should give me an easy access to Burania. All right, let's get out of here. I thought I heard something. I guess not. Uh. Oh, perfect. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, not letting that blow me up. We'll just sneak past. Sneak past everything. Some to Burania. Not risking it. Hmm. Just 
nice and easy. Whoa. Those mines have a fairly large blast radius, but... Oh, I'm going to be seeing my brother soon. So that's why I'm not streaming on uh, Saturday. Or s probably not Sunday either. Because, honestly, I haven't seen him in months and I've been hoping to see him. I don't think I can jump past the tank part, not that I need to. Just keep in mind the eight directions. Actually, I can go through. Nice and quickly. I think I'm about to fight a boss in this zone, if I'm remembering properly. Oh well, let's knock the map system out of the way. Good. Honestly, I the reason why I have my layout set this way is most because I don't want anything getting in the way of the gameplay. I'd rather have the whole gameplay on a smaller screen than cover it up with, like, my face and stuff. Also, I don't have a green screen. Uh, oh. Also, as I don't have a green screen to work with... As I don't have a green screen to work with, I also means that my background means unless I can get some sort of virtual model for myself, which I've actually been trying to work on. It's just there's one step I'm missing. How in the world do I get it to onto the camera? I figure that out. I'll be able to use that instead of my actual face. No, I don't have anything wrong with my face, it's just... I don't have anything wrong with my face, it's... The issue is honestly more with the background than anything else. Mostly background. <gasps> oh no. There was one of those there? Why didn't I notice him? Must not have gone far enough to the right. I'm ashamed. <laughs> Just 
I guess I need to take this path back. That was too close. Yikes. So it takes me two shots. That was a good shot. Like, not like that actually there nearly took me out. Alright, boss time. An underwater boss without the f without the gravity suit. So you can injure this guy without having to resist it. Yikes. We got more missiles. Should only take about two. There we go. Boss doesn't have much health. I find things I'm fair certain. Oh right, that's how. I forgot the old. Uh... I could have just skipped him. Oh well. I'm definitely gonna save though. Alright. You're about to get some very welcome firepower upgrades. Yep, to Gavaran. Some very welcome firepower upgrades.
But I do think I am starting to run out of time here. So let's see here. Nope, can't go that way. That's a plasma beam door. Not very safe in there. Wait. Oh no. I forgot about these guys. I forgot about these guys. There's no good spot for me to fight this one. Give me that one counter attack. Come on, stop using the... That one. Oh, now he uses it. <gasps> Jumps too early. See, this one's probably one of the worst ones. To oh, I hate this boss fight. And by the way, it's like this in hard as well. One hit kill either way. I hopped on, I should have full hopped. Ugh. <sighs> oh, and he started the attack from back there. See, that's the worst attack to deal with. Right, the golden ones actually have more HP than the non-golden ones too.
Oh. There's some way to get it to trigger the other melee attack. There we go. Seriously, if I have to do that... Oh, Emmy. Oh, right, the Emmys are disabled. <laughs> I don't have to worry about the Emmys. I can just get out of here. Alright, I think that's a good a place to stop it as right now. Is on right now. All right. Samus, your DNA have been deactivated, but Raven Beat still desires the Metroid DNA when you were no match. One thing. Yeah, I wonder that as well. Well, thank you for joining me. I'm just gonna. Yeah. All right. Thanks for jumping in, and I shall see you next time.